Blessings family, welcome back everyone. Yesterday while I was in prayer and I was getting up and getting ready to get up and I was done, I had kind of finished everything that was on my heart. Then all of a sudden, I felt this strong weight on me to continue to pray. And when I did, then the Lord began to speak to me about something that he had already been talking to me about um, the days prior to, which has been gratitude and how to really have gratefulness even when we don't feel like it because if you're honest a lot of times that's when you need it the most is when you don't feel like it when it looks like everything is messing up around you or you feel kind of clouded by what's happening then those are the moments that God wants us to have more of a grateful heart so how do you do that and God began to speak this to me specifically Psalms 51 and as I read it, then the Lord just began to show me more and more and more. So I'm going to read it um, a few uh, verses out of there. And I want you to receive what the Lord is saying, because there's something in it for you today that you need to know, really not only to fortify your relationship with God, but also for you to receive from the Lord more and more and more of all of the things that he has for you. And it starts by gratitude. Let's look at um, Psalms 51 and verse 8. This is what it says. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. So this says, this uh, you're saying this to God, that although, yes, I've been through a lot. Yes, I feel broken. And this even says, you have broken me. But then it says, now, Lord, let me rejoice. Give me back that joy again. So I want you to practice doing that. Come before the Lord honest. Come before him, you know, come before him with what's on your heart, with that place of, look, God, I'm tired. You know, give me my joy back again. And then verse 12, it says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. I think this is so important that we understand that we have to ask God sometimes even for the willingness to obey him. We have to ask him that because everything that's going on in our lives, in the world, maybe you feel just uh, down by all of the things that are happening around you in the world. And you're like, God, restore to me the joy of my salvation. And then verse 15 says, unseal my lips, O oh Lord, that my mouth may praise you. So we're going to do a little bit of this, but that's something that I want you to say. If you're feeling like, I, okay, God, I know you want me to have gratitude, but it's just really hard for me to be grateful right now. Unseal my lips, O oh Lord, that my mouth may praise you. And then 17 says this, the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken spirit and repentant heart, oh God. So that says a lot right there. When you come before the Lord and you know that you're supposed to have gratitude, come before him with a, uh, a, a heart and a spirit that's sincere, that's no longer trying to do it yourself. It's not your will that you're trying to enforce, but you're saying, God, I need you and I come humbly. I, that's what it means when it says a broken spirit. That means I come humbly. Myself, my flesh is broken down. And I come before you, God, asking you to help me to have gratitude. Asking you to help me to have a joyful spirit. Asking you to help me to praise you. To unseal my lips so that I can praise you. So that I can worship you. And it says that God will not reject a broken heart, a broken, repented heart. Okay. Now, then this is, this is what I love about the Lord. He tells you exactly what it is that you need to do. Let's go back up to 16 and it says, uh, you do not desire sacrifice or I would offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. Then 17 is where it says the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. But then Look at verse 19. It says, then you will be pleased with the sacrifices offered in the right spirit. With burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings, 
then bulls will again be sacrificed on your altar. And we know that, of course, that's not for us now as far as uh, sacrificing animals. But we know the offerings that we can bring up to the Lord. And God is saying that he first wants you to come, okay? He first wants you to come with the sacrifice, with the sacrifice of a broken spirit. And then you can move into the place of giving your offering. Then you can move into the place. Okay, so right now, let's just praise God. Do it by the Spirit. Do it in the Spirit. Do it however you feel led. But come to the Lord sincerely and as humbly as you know how. You know, we say these words, and if you grew up in the church, you heard people say, as humbly as you know how. No, literally, as humbly as you know how to come before the Lord. It doesn't have to be all of these big words. It doesn't have to sound a certain way. God... God knows your heart. God literally knows your heart. So it doesn't matter if you think that you don't have the right words to say. It's what your heart is saying to the Lord. So Father, we just say thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you for this opportunity to praise you. Thank you, God, that you help us to have gratitude even when we don't feel like it, even when we don't want to, even when we can't see our way out, even when we can't see you, God, in a moment. Thank you for a spirit of joy. Thank you for restoring joy. Thank you, God, that we are humbling ourselves before you right now. We just we just lift our hands and we say, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, that you're so wonderful. Thank you, God, that you are faithful. Thank you, Lord, that you remained faithful to the faithless because that's what your word said. And we thank you, God, that you said you esteem your word even higher than yourself. Thank you, Lord, that we are marked as your territory. Thank you, Lord, that we have the right to come before you in prayer to even ask you to help us to be grateful. Thank you for a repented heart. Thank you that we have turned from the things of old, the things from yesterday, the things that we thought about, the things that we complained about, the things that we were negative about. We turn from that and we turn to you today, God. And we ask that you would come in, that you would open our mouths, fill it with praise, oh God, right now. Fill our mouths with praise. Fill our hearts with praise. That we may glorify you, God. And not just because we think that's what we have to do, but now we come from a place of true desire, of wanting to glorify you, of wanting to honor you, of wanting to lift you up, of wanting to put you higher above anything and everyone else. So right now, God, we do that just by simply starting out by saying, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for health. Thank you for joy. Thank you for peace. Thank you for family. Thank you for strength during our trials. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. We thank you, God, that you said that you don't lead us into temptation. So we thank you, God, that these things that we've been through, they haven't been to tempt us, but sometimes we do go through testing. So thank you for strengthening us and educating us on how to pass the test that you put before us, God. Thank you that we are renewed in our spirits, re renewed in our mind. Thank you for restoring joy. Thank you for peace again. Thank you for hope again. Thank you for expectation again. God, we just lift our hands right now. We just say thank you. We surrender everything over to you, God. We honor you. We acknowledge that you are God, that you are king, that you are Lord. And we acknowledge that we are one with you because your spirit is within us. And all of these things, we just say thank you. We bless you, God, right now. And if you've been doing that, continue to praise the Lord, but also bring an offering to the Lord. Now, this is what it says. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifices offered in the right spirit. Okay, the offerings that you bring unto the Lord right now, bring it unto him and just say, thank you, God. And I say, do one, do it with the number 51 in it. If it's $51, if it's uh, $151, but do it with the 51 in it for Psalms 51. And you're saying, God, I am grateful for you. I haven't always been grateful. I haven't always known how to be grateful in the midst of trials. I haven't always appreciated you. I have oftentimes complained or I've been bitter or I've been angry with my life. But today, God, I give you this offering and I say thank you. I'm grateful for you, God. So do that right now. Don't delay in doing it. Don't him and haw over it. Stop questioning everything. Do what the Lord is saying to do today. Bring him your offering with 
the thought with the intention behind it saying, thank you, God, I am grateful to you. I'm grateful for new life. What are you expecting God to do? I'm grateful that you are healing my family. I'm grateful that you are restoring joy. I'm grateful for all that you're doing in my life. God, I bring this to you right now. Father, I thank you for every person who is coming because they came first. Thank you, Lord, because you said to come first with a broken spirit and then come with an offering. So I thank you, Lord, for each person who is coming with a broken spirit, with a right heart, Thank you, Lord, with a right heart before you. And now they're bringing you their offering. Thank you, Lord. If you pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit right now in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you. We love you. We thank you for the layers upon layers upon layers of grace. Thank you, Lord. We thank you because of you, Jesus, that we are the head and not the tail. We thank you, Lord, because of what you've done, then we're able to pray these prayers. We're able to come to the throne room. We thank you that the veil has been torn. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Thank you for the sacrifices that you have made unto us, for us, and because of that, we're able to give this sacrifice of this offering up unto you, God. And we thank you, Lord, because you see our hearts. Thank you, Lord. You know our intentions. You know our motives. God, we bless you. Receive this now, Father. Have your way in our lives. Thank you, God, for new things just coming up. As you're obedient to what the Lord is telling you to do today, may you receive more and more and more than what you even asked for in the name of Jesus. May you start to see things turn around. May you start to see shifts happen in your life right now. God, we bless you. We honor you. Thank you for each and every person right now as they're obedient and as they're moving forward. Thank you that your hand is upon them. Thank you that you are covering them. Thank you that you are protecting them. Thank you for more wisdom. Thank you for more insight. Thank you for more understanding. Thank you for the increase right now. The increase right now in the name of Jesus. Increase of peace. Increase of joy. Increase right now. Increase right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. We glorify you on this day. And even if you still feel like, I don't know, it's hard for you to be grateful, just open your mouth and just start saying thank you. Because when you're doing that, you're activating the presence of God that's already there within you now can flow more freely. So thank you, God. We honor you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, family. Well, I love you. I pray that this word was a blessing to you. I pray that you're obedient in bringing your offering unto the Lord. And I pray that you would continue to seek the Lord's face more and more and more in the places the where you can give, where you can bring your offering or in the description box in case you don't know. Just hit the more or hit the arrow right next to the title. And may the Lord richly bless you with all of the things that he has in store for you. And may this time of gratitude, of thanksgiving, of praise, just really unlock what it is that God has already created that you've been praying for and now may it just come and flood into your life mightily come flood into your life thank you Lord we just bless you God and I just feel the spirit of the Lord still so I'm not going to end it yet thank you Lord God we love you we honor you thank you Lord that we lift you up higher above anything else thank you Lord hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing what you said you would do. Thank you for finishing what you have started. I thank you for re renewed strength right now over each person. I thank you for renewed focus, for the mindset to praise you. Thank you, Lord, for the heart to praise you, the heart to offer up thanksgiving unto you on today. I thank you for a grateful spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that where they were downcast, where there was depression, where there was oppression, that those things have moved out of the way. And I thank you that all of a sudden they're able to see you. Thank you, God. Even in the midst of their storm, they're still able to see you, God. And that invites gratitude. So we bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. Amen. All right. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.